Right, hello internet, uh, another installment of uh, uh, disassembling cards uh, here at the channel. Today we have um, something uh, unique. This is the MSI uh, Vega 56 Air Boost uh, graphics card. Um, besides the name, this is an exact uh, copy of the AMD uh, Radeon reference model and for comparison I have the reference here and as you can see it's pretty identical uh, to the uh, reference model uh, side by side besides the some print logo on the back plate the tachometer is here uh, the switches uh, for um, the colors is here as well and um, pretty sure of the exact diameter uh, from uh, the fan uh, for the blower style fan should be exactly the same so 70 millimeters and 70 millimeters so it's an exact copy of the reference model um, with uh, that by side uh, this uh, com uh, this car graphics car came out of a uh, working uh, office computer, so it uh, just needs maintenance. Uh, so we'll start the disassembly. First, the uh, back plate needs to be uh, removed, and we'll take the uh, appropriate uh, measurements uh, afterwards as well. As you might know, the blower, the blower uh, style uh, reference uh, coolers uh, from uh, back in the day, pretty noisy, pretty insufficient, but they were pretty uh, cheap and they were doing their job uh, quite well. All right, so some surface tension. So there are actually. Uh, um, uh, GPU thermal uh, uh, thermal pads uh, to this is say to dissipate heat, as you can see at the back of uh, these uh, capacitors, and uh, this should be uh, the um, uh, phase uh, controllers uh, that power on the GPU. So uh, this this should be metal or aluminum or aluminium uh, I guess so it does dissipate some heat and now with the uh, back uh, with the back of the GPU exposed uh, these three screws here hold on to the um, blower style uh, cooler so uh, we'll leave this on for now we'll uh, unscrew everything else As you can see, the positions are pretty unique. That hold the PCB onto the uh, onto the heatsink and the cooler itself. Those are, man, take some effort to unscrew this. I don't know why they were so uh, tight. Down. And one last one here as well. I don't think I forgot something else. And then uh, we have these small tiny screws, three on each side, that uh, will need to be, and uh, we can loosen this up. So we need to unscrew these side ones as well um, to uh, reveal the whole cooler. So blower style coolers uh, can have a lot of uh, dust uh, accumulated in them. 
uh, which as you can uh, tell it has its share of accumulating despite this being an office uh, GPU and no more warranty retention is out and is there a side one I think there's a side one yeah yeah there so there are two side screws here I don't know if the camera can pick it up but in order to release it we need to get these out of the way as well yep and now it should come apart so the only thing holding it is this connector oh man that's not coming off very easily there we go so this is the controller uh, this is the cable for the um, uh, LED and this is obviously the connector for the fan oh man those pads have seen some action they're all dry and brittle so we'll replace all of these of course the paste is completely dry as well despite that when I checked uh, uh, the card the temperatures were acceptable I guess but uh, yeah we'll clean and replace uh, everything afterwards. So let me put this by side. Let's take our meter, put that into resistant. So let's check 12 volts. Twelve volts should be cycling and it's cycling. One, two, three, four, five. This is ground. So no shorts and this is 3.3 volts that's very good uh, the car, this car does not have any um, uh, any uh, shunt resistors or uh, the 12 input uh, or um, safeties um, so we can measure here as well this is also 12 volt This is cycling and this should be cycling as well. This is cycling, all right. Uh, so um, this is 12 volt here. Should be cycling and it's cycling. This is 0 0.8 volts. And that's good. This is 1.8 eight volts and that's fine that is a bit high but all right anyways um, despite being a imitation of reference model some of the numbers can differ I guess this is VDDCI 45 yep yeah, that's fine let's check Core, core is fine. Check one more. This is fine. And the last one underneath he oh, underneath here. Uh, so this is uh, the mem. The last one. If you see, it has a different. So you can see all the uh, capacitors here have R19, 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 and this is the only one, which is R22. So this is MEM, and it shows 
as well and that's also good uh, again we have this special metal capacitor so uh, we can measure directly because this is uh, directly connected to ground so if we touch we can see that as well uh, we can also uh, see swap to the diode, diode mode to check uh, the first data lines and second that's fine and on the back side man, it's a dirty card and on the back side we can uh, check PAX reset that's fine and that's fine and first data line should be also okay that's a good healthy number and uh, there's nothing in regards of uh, checking at uh, the back um, um, again I might do a uh, pure reference model as well but they're all pretty much uh, the same uh, in regards of uh, layout and yeah that's it for this one um, let me know if you have any questions in the comments, if you want me to do any uh, more special or other cards I might uh, be able to get. Otherwise, that's it for this one. Thank you very much. See you in the next one.